Hey guys, hello and welcome to another Divi Mega Menu tutorial. My name is Roby and today I'm going to show you how you can create your very own Mega Menu. This tutorial is not designed to cover everything, so check out our documentation at help.diviengine.com or for more complex situations, contact our support team and somebody there will help you out as soon as they can. Alright, let's get into it. Alrighty, to kick things off, you're going to want to make your way to the Mega Menu section of the Divi Mega Menu plugin. As you can see when you get there, there are tons of settings. To add a Mega Menu, just click the Add New button at the top of the page and then name your Mega Menu. Now we also want to make sure that a custom identifier is either generated or entered by you that is unique. We want this identifier to be unique because we don't want it to interfere with other classes used by WooCommerce or any other third party plugins. And the unique identifier is what is used by Divi Mega Menu to target which Mega Menu to display where. Using something like menu underscore one or even better DMM for Divi Mega Menu underscore menu underscore one will also just work fine. Now at this point we get to decide where this Mega Menu will be displayed. You can either have it as a default WordPress menu, or you can actually have it as a tooltip on top of a module, below a module. You have a bunch of different options here. Alrighty, so first up, we're going to take a look at the WordPress menu option. To do this, we need to make sure that there's a menu where this mega menu can go live. So let's go to the menu section of our WordPress admin dashboard. There, we're going to go ahead and create a menu. You can call this whatever you like, but usually it's good to have a contextual name. This menu can remain a secondary menu, primary menu, and contain any number of pages, posts, or any other custom links. In this example, I'm going to create a main menu using four pages. Okay, so now that we've got our menu created with the pages that we want, we need to make sure to add that custom identifier to the parent item where we want our mega menu to work. To do this, we need to open up the screen options at the top, scroll down and check the box next to CSS classes. This box will enable us to paste in our custom identifier in the field called CSS classes underneath the parent item. Alrighty, so the second way we can use the Mega Menu is using it as a tooltip on a page. To do this, all we need to do is go to the page where we want our Mega Menu to be displayed and then adding the module that will trigger the Mega Menu. Once you've added and styled the module accordingly, you head over to the Advanced tab and you go down to the CSS section and add the custom identifier as the CSS class input. Make sure to save your module when you're done. And just as a quick interjection and to show you what that looks like on the front end, you'll see here on the front screen that when I hover over this button, it actually goes ahead and displays that mega menu tied to that unique identifier. All right, catch you in the next part. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this presentation on how to build and create your first Divi mega menu. If you have any more in-depth questions that were not answered in this video, be sure to check out the documentation at help.diviengine.com where you'll find some more tutorials in both video and text form. But if you have more complex situations, please reach out to our amazing support team and somebody from there will get in touch as soon as they can. All right, guys, catch you in the next video.